we desperately need to find tiles for the bathroom. It's getting to the stage now where if we don't order them this week, we're gonna start holding up the whole renovation. I've just discovered that there is a shop in Polovec, which is a village about 15 minutes drive from us. And it seems to be the perfect shop because it's selling reclaimed building materials. And I think they might have some really beautiful tiles. So hopefully we're gonna get lucky and we're gonna find something today. Chances to find something, I guess, are one to 10,000. Which is not zero. But we have, I have high hopes. Anna has high hopes. Yes. That's good. After five years of renovating a historic building, we figured out that we live 15 minutes away from an antique building material shop. Just in time. <laughs> Just in time. Philip, I've just spotted some gates. These would be really good for us, so the cars wouldn't drive into the, you know, where Into the beds. Into the beds. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I like the little greenhouse. I like the wild boar. Are you sure you like the wild boar? I like it. It has a big <laughs> willy though. Philip! Yeah, look, it's magic. I'm not showing that to our viewers. They're nice gates. Yeah, but not as nice as ours. Okay. They're, they're welded and ours are uh, made uh, in an old-fashioned way. Philip, I just spotted a swimming pool. Yeah. What do you think? I'm not sure if it's water, water type. <laughs> be pretty cool though, around... Uh, yeah. Beautiful old doors. How old do you think they are? 18th century? No, earlier. Older, no? I think they are new Seven. ones made in India. Ah, you think? Yeah. These are the tiles I was thinking for the bathroom, but they're a bit big, aren't they? And this one? This one. I think it's a bit too contrasty with the white, maybe. Or maybe it just needs to be a smaller, maybe it just needs to be a smaller size of tile. Okay, so that was Kind of a success, would you well, say? Well, I think it's surprising that we find a nice marble floor that we actually like. Yeah. So uh, you, you won. You won. I thought we wouldn't find anything. <laughs> Little issue. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. Yeah. It's not just this shop. I think it's just in France, marble floor is expensive because it's not so common. In Italy, this kind of marble would be fairly, not cheap, but good price so here for 14 square meters it's uh, it's basically a month's salary I would say the price um, so should we go for wooden floors instead no just leave it like this in concrete <laughs> what should we do can you imagine how many boat accessories you could buy for that amount of money I mean not that we have a boat but Doing? There's a lot of water. There's a lot of water coming down the gutters, and I think there's a blockage. And I managed to free up some of it, but it's still blocked. So a lot of leaves, and it's a bit um, complicated. Do you need a I have to. I have to do that. Ooh, that sounds good. Nice and slimy. Oh, nice. Uh, kind of precariously sticking out of the window. That's me, all wet.
Ziggy, you don't look very happy. Ziggs. The sun is back, and after being offered a good price, we made the decision to buy the tires from the shop, especially because they had them in stock and we could pick them up straight away. I am very excited because today we are starting on the tiles in the bathroom. The tiles are here. The tiler is upstairs preparing everything. It's going to be a, a good day. So I was all excited, Anna. Yeah. Because tiling starts. I know, I'm so excited. But the day starts with a problem. Oh, uh oh. A big problem or a little problem? I think it's a solvable problem, but it needs a decision. Okay. It needs a strong decision maker. Okay. Like you. So the floor, mm -hmm. unfortunately, is not flat enough for the tiler. This one? Yeah. Even though it's true we did, uh, Maxim did, to flatten the floor. Yeah. But there's still, um, look, when you put this. It's really uneven. Wait. But that will mean that there is a, is a gap Huge here. Gap it's it's here. a bigger step. Yes, Donc à un moment donné, si vous voulez, le calage, il va, il va se mettre en, je sais pas comment vous expliquer, mm -hmm. en, en balai, on appelle ça. Mm -hmm. Si on est en porte-à-faux, on va être en porte-à-faux à un moment donné. Je pense que votre idée euh, de, de faire, euh, de monter oui, ici, c'est mieux. Ouais. Et que vous avez une marche quand même. Oui, voilà. Ça, vous voilà. Avez... Ouais. Donc autant relever de 2 cm, vous l'aurez ici la marche. Ouais. That's oui. a big step. Yeah, but that's how, that's how wonky the house is. If you live in a chateau, you very likely also have grounds and gardens. And to maintain these, you need to use machines. And whilst we learned how to use some of these machines, even bigger ones, there are some tasks that I simply don't dare to do myself. And that's, for example, cutting down trees, which are in odd positions. So if you have such trees in the garden, you need somebody who's an expert who knows what he's doing. And luckily we have Jérôme and his assistants, our farmer friends. And we had two trees coming down after the last storm. Let's see what they do. Tu vas faire comment avec celui-là Celui-là, parce que le petit peu de l'âge, c'est pas trop Je vais prendre le petit arrêt. We have about three hectares of parkland, which we maintain and improve each year. And that costs us about 20 to 30,000 euros a year. So you can imagine why we are happy to have you guys watching our channel, which makes us a bit of an income, but also sponsors like Narwhal, which also helps us to keep the chateau clean. The Frio X is not your usual automatic vacuum cleaner. It's a high-tech robot that combines vacuuming and mopping. We've programmed the robot to take care of our kitchen every night to deal with the crumbs of several family meals. It's surprisingly how easily it sucks up even big pieces. But it cleans equally well on a carpet. But unlike other robots, where the hair gets stuck and needs to be untangled manually, here it just travels through its special zero tangling brush. The name says it all, and it ends in the self-containing dust bag, which lasts up to seven weeks thanks to its dust compression technology. 
Anna, you agree with me, this is the problem room because everybody comes in, the kids come in, the builders come in, we come in, and it's getting muddy and dirty every day. Yeah, I agree. And that's why we have the novel programmed to come in here at two o'clock in the morning so nobody else is here. And the thing is, these, these, these mops, they are spinning and scrubbing at the same time. And it has a so-called dirt sense technology, which means that it, it understands if it's dirty, it will keep scrubbing and spinning. And if it's clean, it stops, it goes on and works somewhere else. And this is a typical shoe, my shoes. This is what you do when you come in from the garden, Exactly. Isn't it? Hair, mud. Hey, look, look, it's gone. Everything's gone. I come, I'll show you what he's doing now. And this doesn't look nice. This is my coffee spill. So I think it's time for Narwhal to go and get it clean. What's it doing here, Philip? So now he just sends that his mops were too dirty. So when the mop system is saturated, the dirt sense tells the robot to go back to the base station, where it starts an automatic mop cleaning sequence with smart water and mop dirtiness sensor. This is a smart guy. He even heats up the mops. So it kills the bacteria and prevents odors. He does a much better job than when I do the cleaning. Oh, oh he's he goes. happy. He's ready to go. Ready to go again. Sorry, Narwhal, I'm turning you around again. Wee, nice. Now oh, they look much better and they almost try. The Frio X uses three lasers to avoid obstacles and is currently the only product in the cleaning robot industry that uses sight sensors. If you think you could benefit from a smart helper like the Narwhal Frio, Click the link in the description or search Narvel Frio X Ultra on Google or Amazon and use the code in the description below. Hurry, because right now you can get $200 off the Frio X Ultra if you buy it on Amazon or the web. So check it out online and use our code. You can see what happened here. The tiler corrected the slab and he added about two centimeters here. That should give him a better base for his tires. Which also means that here there's going to be quite a high step, probably this high, but there's no option. That's how it's going to be. It's an old house and there will always be some quirks. Ça va très bien, maintenant. Tu vas faire quoi Rien. J'ai suivi ton mur. Ah bah, ex excellent, excellent. Euh, bah, voilà. bah, tu vois, j'ai habillé le fond. Oui. J'ai habillé tes côtés. Bien habillé, en plus. Et moi, je suis Euh, je te mets tes tablettes. Et regarde si je monte l'escalier, tu vois. Euh... Dégage. Dégage. <rire> Vas-y. Il y a, y a rien. Il n'y a plus. rien à voir. Il ah, y a, je sais pas si tu rien à voir. Il y a 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 rien à voir. It's not, a, it's not called a chevron. I think they call it something like a fish scale. 
Patton or Chevron, I'm not really sure. I'm sure someone out there will comment with the correct terminology. It looks stunning, it adds a lot of texture to the space, but it's a little bit of a nightmare for the tyler to get correct. But I think he started already on it. Yeah, it's already looking good. He's really precise, Freddy, so very happy. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Let's, let's go and see. Yeah. Super beau. Hein? 